Hi, this is Jim McConnell from Light Elegance headquarters in Redmond, Oregon. Today in our Chemist Corner, we're going to be talking about lexiolane gels. And why do we have so many? And what are they good for? So if we start out with lexiolane gels and why do we have so many, each one is going to vary in viscosity or hardness and strength. So we'll start out with pink. Is that pink? Mm -hmm. Pink as it is. Okay, so pink it is. So we're going to start out with pink. And when we talk about those, first let's start out with what are those lexiolane products. So if we start with one step, and then we have extreme um, cool gel and builder and fiber. And then I'm going to toss in Jimmy gel. So if we start out with these products, one step is going to be out of the harder gels. So the harder gels would be I have other colors, so I'm going to use other colors. I know what color this one is. This is white. So fiber is going to be hard. Builder is going to be hard. Cool gel is going to be hard. And one step is going to also be hard. Extreme is going to be slightly softer. And then Jimmy gel is going to be softer. Okay, so each one of those is going to be a little bit different. Jimmy Gel is also going to be the thinnest. Builder is going to be the thickest. And of the hard gels, one step is going to be thin. Fiber is going to be thick. Cool Gel is going to be moderate. And then Extreme is going to be moderate. So what you wind up doing is you choose your product based on if you want it to be a little bit softer or soft versus harder, 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 or harder. And then you choose which viscosity you want or how you want it to function. So fiber is going to be good for breaking broken nails because a builder is really, really thick. That's going to be good for flatter nails to help build more of an arch into curve. One step is going to be good for nails that already have an arch into curve. But generally speaking, the majority of people are going to fall in this group. So cool gel or extreme. So this is going to be your average nail type. And that's why these two are our more popular products. So Jimmy Gel comes in a brush bottle. It's thin, it's fast to apply. People, if they go from a potted gel, which all of these are in pots, to Jimmy Gel in a brush bottle, and Jimmy Gel is gonna go on a lot faster. Most people can save between 20 and 30 minutes in their service time. Uh, Jimmy Gel does come in a lot of different colors. So if you're looking for a brush bottle, builder in a bottle type material, Jimmy Gel is the place you're going to go to. If you're looking for a potted gel that's going to be hard, more if you look at allergies, then these products here are going to have less monomer in them. So if you're allergic to a bunch of different monomers or some different monomers, these are going to be more hypoallergenic than the Jimmy Gel. And I use hypoallergenic with the definition so that we're all aware. Hypo means less. It does not mean you are not going to have an allergy to it, but it's going to be less allergenic than something else. So those are kind of, that's the general setup on how we uh, do our lexiolane gels. When we're talking about hardnesses, we're talking about shore D hardness. So one step, cool gel, builder, and fiber are all going to be about the same shore D hardness. Jimmy gel is going to be quite a bit softer than those. And then extreme is going to be in between them. As far as tensile strength, they're all about the same. So all going to be somewhere around 2200 to 2400 PSI tensile strength. And as far as flexibility goes, flexibility follows the hardness scale. So the harder it is, the, more, the less flexible it's going to be. The softer it is, the more flexible you're going to have that gel. So that's a summary of the Lexi line.
by the guy that kind of invented all of it. Thank you very much. Jim McConnell from Redmond, Oregon. Have yourself a fantastic day.